Believe it or not, even top CSGO pros don't always know where to stand, where to save, or how to wall bang. I'm not thinking in any way I'm better than professionals. I'm not thinking I know more small in-game details than pros. But here are some CSGO pro mistakes or just things they might not know. Starting in Simple's POV on Mirage, where Navi's inability to boost that CT costed them a lot of time. Plus in the end, Simple's life. You should know that if your teammate corners here like that, you can only climb the trash can from the right. Don't waste time with those chest pumps. A better boost goes when a teammate himself gets to the very right side of the trash, but it might be a bit complex to set it up on the go. Next up, it's very common to see players wallbanging here, and I'm surprised that some of the best individuals in the game do that as well. Although this wall is actually not wallbangable, even with AWP, rifles, eagles, snipers, nothing works here. Now if Clave knew what I'm about to show to you, he would probably never played it like that. From his POV, it looks like Carrigan just got lucky with the smoke spam, but actually, by jumping slash climbing up on Dust 2's A bomb site, you're gonna present a nice warning shadow onto ramp for enemies to take an advantage of that. So instead of being sneaky, Clave gifted Carrigan one of the easiest kills in his career. By the way, if you do know shadows well, you can use them to tease. Ooh, uh, eh? Wait, where's he going? What? Alrighty, I was very surprised to see Yabby's positioning over here. Simply giving his legs as free targets for as attack to tag. If you're playing on that high level, it's a must know bad position because enemies can see your legs miles before you can see theirs. But this corner reach on top of the railing position is decent, hence why it's also widely used around the pro scene. Now a nice try by four legs. But this vertical wall is only wall bangable with powerful snipers. Please touch the bell when you subscribe, as all the bell guys already know that overpass B short sandbags isn't the best camping position, as if enemy knows where to look, they can see, plus wall bang you first. Here's what seemingly very common positioning can do to your team. So Jax was the first one going into heaven and wanted to clear it using the railing off angle. What he most likely didn't know is that when you're on the railing or just nearby it, all under heaven guys can see your shadow. This is what led Pit to get a huge multi kill here. Make sure to avoid being close to a railing if you want to go unseen from the ground level as even regular nearby railing bulk positioning can reveal half of your body in shadow form. Now an old clip from Buddy with a different type of mistake. Plant, he'll have it. You'd think. There are CTs all over and he's fumbled it now! Not knowing where you can plant could cost you match deciding rounds. Even though in B bomb site on nuke, you can plant outside of the red line. Then A site demands you to be safely inside the lines. You can't even flirt with the red border here. Now on to a next clip. <laughs> Zip likes to think outside of the borders when clutching, so it's pretty easy for him to find this rare spot where Vertigo T spawn misses the railings. Here's a good example why you shouldn't try to be sneaky with AWP in your hands, as the barrel will be a nice early warning for enemies to be prepared that you're coming. Pistol sneaking in close corners is way better idea than using long barreled weapons, and vents in general can let you down by showing your weapon or body parts through their walls. It's pointless to aim inside a vent wall, thinking you're going to hide yourself this way. When you're bouncing your Molotov off the skybox down to banana, there's a chance to hit balconies and hitting the second balcony might feel like you didn't miss your fire. Visually, the mistake is obvious, but just by judging from the sounds, it's not that easy to understand whether the fire properly hit the banana or not. Nah. So technically, enemies could already be very close with no molly damage audio cue whatsoever. A surprisingly common mistake in the pro scene, Line. Oh, oh no! no! What is that from Leon? A well calculated decision to start to play with your PP at the same time enemies are running towards you. If you are the one experiencing it too often, maybe it's time to change your keybinds a bit. An old old scout wallbang attempt by Simple. Sadly, there's this box at ramp that denies many differently angled bangs. If you'd go left from this fire alarm thingy or close to it, your bangs are rather safe, covering a long line at ramp. But going wider here can result with literally nothing more than revealing your position with a warning shot. Next. 
if you do look up in mini pit with a long barrel in your hands, you will be spotted. Now do not believe everything you see, Stewie plays it to perfection here, winning the 1v1 clutch against Jux, which as you know leaves the whole enemy team seeing a camera close to the lastly died body, then Stewie moves AWP close to the bomb, goes to the fuse with an AK, so enemies might think he didn't pick up an AWP, and then after defusing, picks up the big boy sniper, so Shox's cam can't see it. All this can lead up to some mistaken info for enemy side. There are different smoke wall variations on Nuke, but you have to be prepared that there are smoke combos that give climbing CTs kind of a one way. Keep watching out and let's hop on to our next clip. At A ramp on Mirage, not many people know this, but if you hold this second floor corner position, your legs are visible to anyone who knows what to look for. As you can see, Rob's can't see as far as potential enemy could be. Plus if they would crouch here, they could tag your legs. So the more in the corner you are, the worse. Two out of those three bots can be tagged, the very left one is safe, and for the mid one you would need huge classes. By the way, Magix likes to hold this spot a lot, which is by the way completely safe for him. Overpass connector itself provides you enough cover when you use left side to progress, like A graders from Evil Geniuses do here. But if you live on the edge and go wide right, you're gonna risk with... Exactly. A Molotov getting denied in a smoke is one of the few sounds that will nicely mask the diffusing sound. Even if it's accidental, keep in mind that they might have timed you and used this trick slash feature against you. Next up, if you have decided to save, make sure to not to make any mistakes with bomb radiuses. If a bomb is planted inside a site on Inferno, you can easily die in banana, not a problem. Library is not safe for B if you're low. And for example, if a bomb is planted at B default on Dust 2, you can even die in A short. If you die as a bomb carrier, you will drop the bomb in the direction you're looking at, like if it was in your hands at that particular moment. On Dust 2's A site, it could mean you're gonna drop it over the edge towards CT spawn, which is not nice at all. Rather be safe than sorry and either stay away from the edge or just try to get a bomb down without facing them. Most of you, if not all of you, should already know that quick switching, although you can hear it, is fully silent to the outside world. But still, doing it at random times can reveal your position. And now mom, get your camera ready. Here's Hooksy's 2k, all because of this random quick switch that sadly made the weapon to stick out, so G2 could set up their flash play. Let's be honest, there was completely no reason to quick switch. Ay 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 ay. Navi has had balls since day one, as once upon a time on old nuke, bomb was planted at A and old Navi tried to save their guns in B, an iconic move with not so iconic result. Next up a mistake that fortunately happens very rarely on a pro level, not shooting back. And you obviously shouldn't shoot the wall plus celebrate your weapon save too early as sneaky fur could punish you. Just never celebrate too early. Here's another shadow position issue, and Dexter surely wasn't aware of that. An easy kill for Forzy, yet he got immediately traded. Many pros still waste money on rebuying armor when they actually don't need to do it, so let's go over that one more time. You mustn't rebuy your armor plus helmet when you have 50 or more points left playing as a T, and around 60 or more points left playing as a CT, otherwise you are just wasting big money. We're gonna continue with not really a mistake, but if there's AWP smoked off behind coffins, there surely is a good chance that they go for this common coffins wall bang. And you're out from the round just like that. If you wanna stay in this corner on Ancient, you can't afford to jiggle even an inch, as they can see your leg, stay calm and don't move. Next up a mistake from a default area on Mirage. enemies are close, you shouldn't stop hugging the box as if you try to fall back, you actually climb those little stairs and if enemies have right positions, they can easily see your head over the box while you still can't see them, simple nose. Alrighty, Dust 2 CT me truck is not the best hiding spot, confirmed. Luckily, Inferno Pit is a safe and happy place, so there's no way to lose HP when falling into it. Oh. 
oh. to jump over the fence without touching it, land on the bench, and to always have a good control over the situation, be ready to every now and then look behind you. 